In the previous video I said that we still have a lot to discuss about Blade, and that is true actually, because we still have uh, something called a template. And if we go here on the Blade templates, before our control structures, which is what we uh, did in the previous video, we have our layout. So this is a Blade layout, and what we want to do this time is to create a layout and extend that layout for all our pages. So why we have to do that? Well, uh, imagine that I do not want to create in every single page the code for the menu. I want it to be automatically there every single time that I create a new page. And also, for example, if we have a sidebar at the left side, I do not want to create the sidebar every single time. I want the sidebar to be hard-coded there from somewhere else and then just take the code for the sidebar and take the code for the menu and, you know, just have them inside there for every single page. And uh, imagine that, for example, if you are on Facebook, uh, for every single page, you have to create the menu that is at the top. However, if you use a layout, you do not have to do that because a layout has the code inside and what you do is to just uh, use a layout or just import the layout. So what I will do now is to go to my Sublime text and here I will go to my resources and I will create a new folder there called layouts. Layouts. And here now I can create a new file and I can name this layout dot blade dot php so this layout now is the file that we will extend for every single page now what i want to do is to go to my views and go to the pages and go to the about page so as you can see here for the about page we have some html we have the body and all that stuff for the contact page we do not work with that and for the help the same. I will delete this test blade.php because we, it is not needed anymore. So delete this. And now we have uh, three pages. Well, probably in order to keep the things more simple, I will also delete the help page. So now we only have the about and the contact page. So in order to have an HTML page also for the contact page, of course we need to copy this code and paste it in our contact page. This code, as you can see, it has everything. It has a title, it has a head, the HTML, the body tags, everything. And of course, though, these are not needed since these are these were for testing earlier. And I will delete those and I will also uh, substitute this line right there. So now, as you can see, we have two HTML pages with uh, HTML tags. Now, what I want to do is to have a section for my title, a section for my body, and maybe a section for the sidebar, and then we just extend the layout that I said that we created earlier. So what I want to do, instead of saying here, uh, title about us, I want to delete this and say section, and we can name the section title, and then we can also close a section. And inside here now, I can have my title. So the title is about. Now, instead of having HTML and head every single time, I also want to delete this, or better say, cut them from here and paste them inside my layout.play.php. Now, I also need this head, so we close the head, and inside the head, uh, we had our title, so let me do here title. So, inside this title now, what I want to do, as you can see here now, we have a section. So what I want to do is to retrieve the section, is to retrieve the value that we have between this section. And how can I do that? So we can say at yield. I can open parentheses and inside here now, I can have the name of the yield that we have right here, which is title. So title. Now, as you can see, we do not have... Um, uh, color coding for our yield. So what I will do is to close my layout and go to my layouts folder and open this again. And now we have color coding. Very good. So as you can see now, what it means is that whatever the value is inside this section, take it, yield it. And as you can see, we have the same name. So title and title. 
Uh, as you can imagine, we also need a section for our body. So instead of saying body and the closing body, what I can do is to create a section body here, and then like we have done with the title to stop it. So I will also take all this code inside my body and paste it inside my section. And now what I want to do is to for the code, uh, the code for the body, the closing and the opening tags, I want them to have them inside my layout. So I will go below the head and say body and close the body. And also, uh, we also have to close the HTML. So I will delete all this code from here and also close the HTML there. And as I said, we also have to yield our body. So yield. And here we can say the name of the section, which is body. And this is pretty much everything. So right now you have a layout page. So if I go, if I go to my about URL, you will see that nothing has changed. However, before we do that, as I said, we have to use this layout.play.php. And in order to use that, we have to extend it. So I will go at the beginning of my page and here I will say extends. And inside here now, we can have the path of the layout.php, which is layout, which is our folder, layouts with s, dot layout. So if I go now to my browser, you will see that everything has worked and we have the same exactly, exact result that we had earlier without a layout. We have a couple of uh, errors. And the mistake is that it does not recognize the layout uh, view. So if I go back to my code, you can see that uh, my layouts folder is outside my views folder. So this was a mistake that I did. So what I have to do is to uh, create again the folder inside my views this time, not outside. So layouts. Okay. And inside my layouts folder, now I can now again create the layout.blade.php and uh, just paste the code from my layouts here. Okay, close this and delete the old layouts folder. Okay, so now I will rerun my page. Excellent, so as you can see now, everything worked as we expected. So uh, the thing though is that if I go to my contact page, we should get the same result. However, we do not have the code for that yet. So what I will do is to go to my contact page. Uh, we still have the old HTML code. So what I want to do is to do the exact same thing that I have done here. So I will delete pretty much everything. So I will delete all this. And here now I will say, I will say extends layouts dot layout. And um, for the title, we will say section, title, I will go down there and say stop, I will take this title and pass it between the title section inside there, I will of course delete the head, the body, all that stuff, it is not needed, and then we will open a new section called body, and between the body now, I will have this content. And we can also use the h1 tags, it is still okay. Okay, delete that. Excellent, so now if I go back to my uh, contact page, you will see that we will still again have the same result. So, contact. Uh, we have a arrow there, let me see what is that. Uh, okay, so yeah, delete this. Okay. And disappeared, perfect. So. Uh, as you can see now, we have a layout for our pages, and you might say, well, okay, who cares? Who cares? Well, this is a lot of, uh, you know, time saving because uh, you don't have to uh, write HTML code all every single time. So what I also want to do now is to have a menu. So let's say that we want to have a menu. So what I'm going to do? Uh, before the body, let's say that we have the menu and I want the menu to be for every single page. So I will say here, menu. However, for the menu is not the same thing because 
The menu will be a sub page inside my layout. So let me create this menu.blade.php. So this is a sub page inside my layouts folder. So instead of saying yield, I can say include. And uh, we also need the folder here, so layouts.menu. So if now we go to our documentation, uh, we can find this include. Where is it? So you can see, uh, okay, so yeah, we are here now, including subview. So with add include, we can easily include a blade view from within an existing uh, view. So all variables that are, ver uh, that are available to the parent view will be made available to the included view. So instead of using the yield, which just yields a section, now we want to yield a sub view. We want to yield a view. Okay, so this is a difference that with include, you, you, you're you taking the whole view, while with yield, you're just taking a small section, like here. Excellent. So what I want to do now is to actually go and create a very simple menu. So I don't want to be, you know, very advanced. We don't have time for that stuff. So I will just say home here, and I will create another one and say login. And another one and say uh, about and the last one which will be contact if I go now back to my pages uh, for example in the about page you can see now that if I go to the about page we have the menu right here and if I go to the contact page we again have the menu so what it means it means that with this layout now we have some code, so where is the layout here? So with uh, this layout now, uh, we have some code pre-coded. So if I go to my page source, you can see that we have our HTML, we have our head, everything. However, we also have the menu this time. And so imagine now that you want to have a sidebar at the left side of your screen. So, so what do you want to do? Uh, for that case, you just have to uh, have, you know, to, for example, include, maybe it is a sub view, so you can include a sidebar, sidebar left, okay, and have this, the, the call for the sidebar there. So pretty much, you know, this is the whole thing that you have to do. And this is how you create a layout, how you create the sections, how you can also create a menu and have the menu for every single page, not for only one. So this saves you from a lot of coding because if you didn't have the layout, then you should have the, the menu code for every single page and also the HTML code for every single page. And this was how to create a layout with Blade. In the next video now, we want to start working with our models and of course with the database.